I just wanted to do a quick demo of um, OpenShift and how it can deploy microservices very easily, how it also can work really great as a, a developer experience as far as testing um, their code locally um, in a cloud-like setup. So OpenShift right now I have running locally. Um, you can see this address, this 192 address of this OpenShift instance is running in um, a VM on my local box. It's running in Docker. Um, it takes up the footprint's very small, and um, I've got some different deploys going there. The one I want to show is this Spin Cube demo. Basically, I made this demo for a product called Spinnaker um, uh, through Kubernetes. Um, I'm using the same code. Kubernetes actually runs underneath OpenShift, so OpenShift um, is going to deploy this code as a Docker container um, in a Kubernetes environment, which in this case is also local. To my box, but it, it would behave exactly the same as if this were uh, running in a public cloud, and um, the deployment process is the same. So what this looks like right now, I've got an application deployed. There's one pod, meaning there's one instance of this application, and and I've got it routable, publicly routable. In this case, the route is my local machine. If I click on this, you can see what the code looks like. Um, it says "Hello OpenShift." Gives me the background color. Um, this is my local machine right here. No big deal. Um, I just did a deploy of this a few minutes, six minutes ago. I can see the logs from that deploy. I can actually see the logs from my container. I can do a lot of neat things from this. But what I want to show is what a new deploy looks like. If I was a dev working on this locally, I wanted to test my changes without having to push them somewhere. Um, so I've got my code here. Um, I'm just going to edit my um, I'm going to edit that page instead of saying hello open shift I'm just going to say hello demo I'm going to change this you can see this change um, this code's actually uh, the trigger for this is going to be a, a, a git event so I'm going to leave that the same I'm going to save that do a commit and I'm going to push that this is going to a git uh, hub my own private repo out in GitHub. So I just push that. Um, right now I don't have it triggered, the trigger thing set up because it's local to my workstation. I really wouldn't want to do that. But in order to kick off a build, I'm going to just tell OpenShift to start uh, to start a build here. So you can see what's going on over here. Now you can see a new deploy started. Build number four. It's running. Um, I could view the log. Now you can see the new the new pods getting deployed. The new pod comes up, the old one's going to go away, and the new one's up. So now if I were to click over on this again, now I'm going to see hello open demo. There's my new deploy. I can also click on this pod, um, and I can see the logs from that deploy. I can see that I hit it. One neat thing about this is that I can also do a terminal. This is commands inside of my Docker container. So this is one thing that's really nice for a developer to be able to debug their code um, without having to have SSH access to where this might be running. And if OpenShift was running somewhere in the cloud, the same functionality would then be available to the devs to do that. So um, anyway, that's the demo that I wanted to do. Um, OpenShift um, there's nothing in my code that is specific to OpenShift. Um, really all there is, if you look in the code here, is a Docker file. Um, OpenShift then recognizes that it's a Docker file and it can run um, Docker. So that's really all it's doing is it's, uh, it's doing that. It doesn't have to be Docker. It could be, could be um, another language. Um, Docker is very easy though. Uh, so that's the demo um, and that's it.